We're here with Jackie Taggart, who is the MLA for Fraser and Nicola. And uh, Jackie, first off, maybe just tell us a bit about uh, your connection to Princeton, and then we'll talk about some of the outreach that you're doing. Well, I was born in Princeton and left the community at the age of two, but also my dad was born in Princeton. My dad and my grandpa worked at Copper Mountain, and my mom and dad met at Allenby. So a lot of rich history uh, that goes back in the uh, the annals of Princeton's uh, formative years through mining and uh, the connection to mining, as you know, is very rich in this area. Uh, let's talk a bit about the, the outreach that you're doing. Uh, I think it's fabulous that you uh, come to the area on a regular basis and uh, you're just reaching uh, the smaller pocket communities around Princeton and finding out what they're doing. Actually, it's, it's been an absolute pleasure to be in Princeton, and uh, Brad Hope has been a great help in, in taking us out to the rural area. But we are in Princeton the third Thursday of every month. Uh, the mayor is, has very generously uh, allowed us to use his new office. The town of Princeton has to be very proud of the refurbishing of that building. And uh, yeah, we're here every third Thursday. Well, you know, and you touch on a couple of really interesting facts, because uh, we should give Brad Hope a little credit that he's the Area H Director for the Regional District in this area for people who don't know who he is. And uh, he's been taking you out, as you said, escorting you around to some of the other areas, uh, Aris and uh, uh, Osprey Lake and uh, Hayes Creek and all these other places in the surrounding areas. So I know later today you're also going to be touring some of those places with Brad as well. And you talked about the uh, Town Hall, and, you know, it used to be a provincial building, and uh, the town of Princeton bought it, I'm going to say, two years ago and converted what used to be the provincial courthouse into their new town hall. It's a fabulous facility, there's no doubt about that. And uh, you must feel really lucky to be part of, you know, the rebirth of downtown Princeton because I think that's kind of the, the, the anchor of the changes that we're going to see down the road. Actually, it's great to see those buildings uh, redone. And uh, I think a lot of our small communities have gone through times when uh, the downtown's not quite as healthy as we wish it would be. And it's a challenge for all of the rural communities in Fraser Nicola. But it's great to see the work being done in Princeton. Um, I was sorry that I couldn't make it to the grand opening, but I know that the community is very proud of what's been done there. Yeah, I think a lot of people have pointed to the fact that uh, this uh, current town council has actually been very fiscally responsible when it came to uh, what they did with that building, because at one point an engineer's report said it was going to be in the neighborhood of $900,000 to refurbish it, and uh, they actually reached out, town council reached out, and uh, the town crew uh, and all the people in the town staff in the office, we have to give them all credit, so they reached out and actually pulled together resources from within the community, uh, local contractors, local uh, resource people, and actually were able to... Uh, uh, revitalize that building at a fraction of that uh, estimated cost uh, that the engineers had placed on it. So I think that's a, a real good uh, feather in their cap, if you will. And you're right. I mean, uh, you know, small towns are suffering quite a bit. Uh, I think it's not just uh, in Fraser Nicola. It seems to be a province-wide situation, and I'm sure you're hearing about that. Well, certainly hearing about it and looking for solutions around that, and that's why we're here every third Thursday, because we want to hear from the community as to how we can help that happen. Um, it's not for outside people to come in and tell us how to refurbish and, and revitalize our communities, but if there's anything provincially that we can advocate on behalf of the community, that's what we're here for. Um, I'm a small town person. I believe in living in rural BC. I think that we are the gems of British Columbia. And part of my challenge as, as your MLA is to uh, take a look at Fraser Nicola and see where we fit in the provincial economy. Because the lower mainland is doing very well, the north is booming, and we're sort of that center in the British Columbia uh, map. So how do we access and uh, make the most of the opportunities that are happening in the province? And that's the kind of conversation I'm having with uh, people in the region, and uh, taking those ideas and seeing how we can lobby for them in the provincial government. Uh, one quick question uh, related to that is, uh how are you feeling in Victoria? I mean, when you take some of these issues to Victoria, are you being received well and uh, people are paying attention to what uh, you're telling them about rural BC? You know, uh, we have a very, very strong rural caucus within our caucus, and every decision that our government makes is run through a rural lens. Uh, we make sure that any decision that we're talking about 
people understand what it means to rural BC. And I have to say I have been so impressed with uh, the access to ministers and uh, the amount of time they spend trying to understand the issues in rural BC and also uh, the response that we're getting. Um, uh, for example, the Ashcroft Terminal is one of the projects in the region that shows great promise and um, we're getting an incredible response from caucus and uh, from the transportation minister in particular. Perfect. Uh, I want to say myself personally you know, you're one of my favorite MLAs. I don't want this to sound goofy, but, you know, you've been very accessible to me uh, as a member of the media, and that's not to say previous MLAs haven't been, but you're, you're approachable, you're friendly, you could talk about just about anything, and you have no idea how much I appreciate that as a member of the media, to be able to go to you with things and be able to get an answer and, and a, a smile and a chuckle at the same time. Well, thanks, George. It is, this is the best job in the world honestly. Uh, to serve community and to have the ability to make a difference in community is an incredible, um, I'm incredibly proud to be able to do this job. And uh, our region is huge. We live in God's country, there's no doubt about it. And I think we just need to take a look at, as communities, what do we want to have happen and let's make it happen. So I'm here to assist in any way I can. I don't want to tell you how to do your business, but if there's something provincially that we can lobby for, let's work on it. Perfect. Where can you be reached if uh, people want to talk to you or find out more about you? If you just look on the internet and look for Jackie Taggart MLA, all our contact information is there. Uh, we have a 1-800 number so that everyone in the region can be in contact with us. And also we answer emails 24-7. So uh, feel free to contact us and we'll make time for you. I think one of the commitments that um, I make to uh, Fraser Nicola is I understand in small communities people are tired of being told to come someplace else to meet with people. I want to meet you where you live. And so that's why we're committed to come into Princeton and to hear the exciting things that you have going and also to talk about some of the issues that we need to work on. Perfect. Thanks so much, Jackie. A pleasure as always. Thank